Barstool Sports. Brandon Walker. Mostly Sports. Welcome to Mostly Sports. I'm Mark Titus. He is Brandon Walker. Today is Thursday, September 28th. And what do you want to talk about, Brandon? Hi, Mark. Why are NBA trades the best trades? Yeah, I don't know if they're the best, but they're certainly like the ones that everyone wants to talk about. They're, the, every seems time like that NBA means tra- they're the best. Does it? I feel like it. I feel like they get us going the most. Yeah, um, but just because people like them, does that mean it's the... You know. I don't know. Nothing moves the needle it's, like a good most, NBA trade. Some good sexiness to they an are NBA the best. trade. They are the best because you can just you can squeeze all sorts of content out of every single NBA trade. And when, yeah, Damian Lillard. Obviously, we're we're talking about this because Damian Lillard got traded to the Bucks. Um, Whoa, he did. <laughs> breaking news. Uh, but yeah, when, when I mean, even even like Rogers, we knew he was getting traded from the Packers. And when it happened, I don't feel like the NFL like has that. Well, it, see, it was a big like that's the biggest trade in the NFL in in a very very long time. Yeah, and it's not like seismic at at a level that the the NBA trades are. And NFL trades sometimes you'll see a guy who you think's a great player. You see like a running back, a star running back. Oh my god, he got traded. He got traded for two six round picks. Yeah, and there's no and then baseball trades are fun. Baseball trades are good because they're they happen like in the winter and then you get to look forward to it all spring. But NBA trades seem like they changed the landscape of the NBA like overnight. I think I think the uh, the NFL too. Um, I, I think fans, or maybe they, maybe this isn't correct, but at least I I'm this way. I don't I don't realize how bad guys have gotten. Like they get like you could trade like a dude that I thought was still good, right, for next to nothing. Yeah. And then I'm like, holy shit! Like they get that. What a what a haul in the, they in just the got NFL for, guys get then, awful overnight. Yeah, and then yeah. the guy like ends up being awful, and I'm like, oh wow! So that I thought that was a blockbuster trade that this guy was moving to this team. As it turns out, he sucks, and everyone knew it but me. Um, but yeah, Damian Lillard to the Bucks. This is this is uh, this is big news. The Bucks are the best team in the East now. The well, Bucks that, are well they. They kind of already were, right? They were one yeah. seed who just kind of got beat in the playoffs. Let, let's well, I mean, if you get if you lose in what are they lose in five games yeah. to the Heat to yeah. an eight seed, but you, they also I, I don't think you can call yourself the best team in the East if you lose in five games. Okay, well, not only did they pass the Heat, now they also took the player of the Heat thought they were going to get. Yeah. So before we do that, though, we have to do a Thursday recap. I'm sorry, it's Thursday, so this is uh, it's my Jay Cutler Chicago Bears jersey. Uh, you're wearing a soccer jersey again. I'm wearing another soccer jersey. This is a. Uh, um, Columbus Crew, yeah, yeah. I got, right. I got my name on the back. I didn't do this though. They put my name on the back. And uh, sent it to, hold on, hold on. I, I wasn't done. I'm sorry. Uh, you were. The team sent this to me. Yeah, and they said thanks for being such a big. Okay, fan. well, I'm just gonna say right now, uh, any soccer team that wants to send me a jersey, I will take it and wear it. Who once. soccer? Soccer does have the best jersey. You're, you're gonna kill me for wearing a bunch of soccer jerseys, but you have to admit that it's it's soccer and baseball. And I think I think it's baseball. I think baseballs are the best jerseys to wear. Baseball jerseys are so goddamn comfortable. Baseballs, yeah. I think that for me, it's a tie. It's soccer and baseball. I've, but, I've, but, I've admittedly never worn a soccer jersey. Although when my wife went to Sweden one year, she, no, when she went to Spain, she went to Madrid one year. She brought me back uh, Real Madrid jersey, and I wore it once and didn't wear it again. Was she going to Europe to like visit her tennis instructor? My or, wife or is something like huh? the- <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a. She made a good joke there, huh? I don't want to be a narc, but uh, Mark is currently wearing a kit, not a jersey. Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. So, it is not uh, kit foul day. On the, speaking of, foul on the play. speaking of, that's fine. Uh, are you just going to wear an Orioles jersey every week? This is my uh, last Orioles jersey that uh, still fits me. Who who is that Orioles? This would jersey? be a future Hall of Famer and should be a member of the three thousand hit club, Nick Markakis, on the back. Okay, that's okay. Uh, he's more known as a Brave, uh, and I I'd like to talk to you real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, can we discuss the fact that you're wearing a basketball jersey over just a polo well, shirt? Well, so I wore this. Is this a button-up shirt? It is a button-up shirt. I'm wearing this because I have to work the Plan Brie event later tonight, and I wanted to look a little bit nicer. So I wore this to the office and then realized, oh, shoot, I don't have an undershirt, so I just put the jersey on. You look like on. one of those. Get you a guy who can do both. He can, yeah. he can, he can participate in Jersey Day. And okay. I do, also, I can do I feel say like something? Go What's to up? Plan Brie. You could wear the New York, the next jersey to the Plan Brie event. I don't think you're going to need. Yeah, is it's it not a black, black tie. Is it a black tie affair? No, but it, you know, it's a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I, it's it a does. nice venue. It's going to be drunken, yeah. drunken twenty-two year olds there. Well, what are you wearing? Not at the live show. 
I don't think. After the live show. He does look like half of the people that go to Knicks games. Correct. He looks like the finance bros. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which I would never wear this underneath a, a Philly jersey or a Penn State jersey or anything like that, but this I feel comfortable doing it. Are you a Knicks fan? I am not. So uh, this is actually from Stephen Che. Uh, this, is, this is a Jeremy Lin jersey uh, that Stephen Che lent to me because I have no other jerseys available right now. My shipment from home is still not here yet. So uh, this is a temporary. I think. Think about wearing a Jeremy Lin jersey. You just want another jersey an hour later. TJ, what are you wearing? <laughs> I am wearing a 1998 throwback Derek Jeter batting practice jersey. What's up? What's up, Mark? How you doing? <laughs> you, you know that you know you liked it. Don't act like you didn't like it. I'm just moving on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I think it's soccer and baseball that was the best. That's why I that's why I think I have a lot of soccer jerseys. I do like soccer, but I you I know what's the my, worst? My closet is disproportionate soccer jerseys because I I mean football jerseys I there are a lot. It looks like you beat your wife. Right. When you wear yeah. a football jersey out in public, you're yeah. basically announcing to the. I, I had a lot of football jerseys. Um, you know what the worst one is? Hockey jerseys. Like, hockey jerseys. They're a commitment to wear in public. They they hockey jerseys fuck in the winter. Like if you if you throw like a hockey jersey over a hoodie, you know, and it's it's really cold that plays. But yeah, if if the if it's warmer than thirty five degrees, <laughs> working it's, it's here, hockey I jersey. I get a lot of I I get clothes that I don't even know where they came from. I have a Pre Nashville Predators jersey in my closet right now. <laughs> I tried it on and it's just it just eats me up. Yeah, and I'm They're really fat. I'm yeah. very fat. Every time I put on a hockey jersey, I feel like uh, I'm borrowing my boyfriend's clothes. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it also feels a little like stolen valor, right? Like I'm wearing a hockey yeah. jersey, but I'm not a hockey guy. Right. Like I, I can't. It'd be like me putting on a, a Marines uniform. I can't pull that off. Basketball jerseys are the coolest to look at online. But then the worst to wear. Like when I right. when I'm on eBay yeah. looking for jerseys, I am always looking at basketball jerseys. And then when it well, comes time to actually wear them, you you have two choices. You can either wear a shirt underneath it and be a doofus, which you know, eh. or <laughs> not wear a shirt underneath a basketball okay. jersey and you're a douchebag. This is why we can't have the no chat up because this one guy said they're called sweaters, not jerseys. Guys, Jesus, shut the fuck up, Brandon. Shut the fuck Brandon. up. Brandon, what? Let's just, let's just, here's a thought. Sorry, let's just sorry. do the show. Sorry, and I saw him. I saw that idiot. I saw that idiot. Sorry. It's okay. Chill out. It's Thursday. It's you you Thursday. just, uh, we're, I'm trying to have a conversation. I thought. My mom's coming today. <laughs> She's coming. She's bringing my dog, Sam. Yep. So this dame to the Bucks. Oh, my God. The, uh, first of all, the Bucks are very good. Secondly, I got to be honest. I, th I thought I knew Dame was a very good player, top 10, 12 player in the league. Um, I didn't know he averaged 32 points a game last he's year. Very like, he's, he's very good. He's very fucking very, good. He's very, very good. He is, uh, there was a moment in time where Dame Lillard, now I want to I want to pump the brakes a little bit. I don't. Sure. But there was a moment where uh, some people would entertain the idea of Dame or Steph being better, and uh, those people were morons. But just the fact that like it wasn't the most insane because like Dame like there, there was a Dame had like playoff runs where he's just hitting like clutch the the there was a game against the Nuggets I think it was where Dame just went berserk and was hitting fucking everything and then there was like a contingent of people that were like man if Dame had the help that Steph had maybe that's not true but the fact that like he could get himself to that level he's he's an otherworldly offensive talent for sure he's he's well incredible I'll just pose the question then it, you know at there if you switch them. You put Steph in Portland and Dame in, in Golden State. Is it are the teams that much different? Are they dramatically different? Does Steph make Go uh, Portland better? Does yeah? Well, I mean, that's I guess that's the argument. It's like I don't. I, I don't, think Dame makes Golden State much worse. It, he doesn't make it much worse. I still think if if they play out their exact same careers, um, yeah, like the, Golden State's probably still winning four titles with Dame. Yeah, Steph's I think place. so too. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. I don't think there's that big of a difference. I, I looked at his but, numbers, but Steph is better. For the record, Steph yeah. is better. I'm not. I'm not. 32 Same points a game last year. He took 11 threes a game. Makes 38% of them. Like, yeah. he can fucking shoot. And, mm -hmm. and like, it's not it's, it's not like he's a catch-and-shoot guy in the corner where he's, he's you know, they're rotating the ball. He's taking contested threes often, and he's still hitting them. He takes absurd uh, – He takes 44 threes. Yeah, he, yeah. Just, he, he does that a lot too, which is, uh, you know, it, it, it's something that he and Steph are – there are a lot of guys that take deep shots now, but those two are, are – uh, alone on their own little tier. Uh, stop looking at the chat, Brandon. Why is stop it up? Stop looking at the chat. Why is it up there? Why is Holy it up there? It's distracting. Don't look at it. 
I can't not look at it. I gotta look forward because that's where the camera is, and then the chance there. That's not my fault. You don't have to look forward. You can look at me. We're doing a show. I'm right here. Just wait just for right Big Cat here. to walk by. It's going to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, my God. This is just like the ADD hour. I just there. can't. I can't. It's early. And I just. It's, we got to put. We got to get. You know what we He's got do it in Brandon? front of us, man. We got to get those like uh, those horse blinders of like the horses on the carriages in New York City when they're like walking through the city. And they you gotta, think those are the only ones that wear blinders? The horse blinders are a very common thing for horses. Horses wear those everywhere, not just in the city. Everywhere. Yeah. So you, you go to like you go to to Lexington, Kentucky, out on the horse. Farms. Maybe not those guys. You think those horses got no, blinders on? No, no, not maybe not those guys. Some of them might. Where, where? So, but you just made it sound like ho- all horses are wearing blinders. They're not. I think it's like no. a city thing. All horses are so like much- Stevie Wonder. They're they're practically blind. But you, you know he can see, right? Stevie Wonder. I think so. You're one of those guys. A lot you of saw ever, the one video a lot of the of microphone. Ever, how did he catch it, Mark? How did he catch it? How could, else did he catch it? Because he could feel it on his foot. No, it. it wasn't. It they were first of all they were on stage playing music. There's vibrations everywhere, and he reaches out and he catches a mic. That also, falls. like read one fucking comic book for me. Uh, <laughs> Who's the blind once guy? You, one, Daredevil. Once you mm. lose your eyesight, everything else gets enhanced. I don't. So think, he no. could smell the. He could probably smell the microphone falling. I do wonder if that's a myth. I don't know, man. I close your eyes for the entire day tomorrow and tell me you can hear better. Isn't that the idea with like autoerotic asphyxiation? Is like what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think you know what autoerotic asphyxiation is. Isn't that the idea? You you deprive your brain of oxygen. Yeah. What what what? what why do people do that? I thought it was like the reason you choke yourself is because then right. it makes your dick feel better. Maybe makes the sensation better. You're taking better. one. You're taking one sense away, which is breathing. I don't air. think that. First of all, I don't think that has anything to do with your eyes. Why and would hair. Why would people do that? Why do people? Why would you tie a belt around your neck to jack off if it didn't feel good? What right else now? am I gonna do? <laughs> all right. I think I think that's the science behind it. Is that yeah, right? Is used that okay. It's the intentional restriction of oxygen to the brain for purposes of sexual arousal. The term autoerotic asphyxiation is used when the act is done by the person themselves. All right, that didn't really tell us why. Yeah, like what's the why? What's the what's the? When you lack blood to your brain, basically. You start. You going, start. You start going loopy. A little okay, bit. so it's not the exact same thing I was saying, but it's kind of it's in the ballpark of like you deprive yourself of one thing and it makes the other thing. It's in the ballpark. It makes the, the other thing. The first <laughs> live show to talk about autoerotic asphyxiation before 10 a.m. ever. <laughs> I bet we're not. Sadly, we're, we got to be the only. <laughs> we got to be the only show breaking down the Dame trade. Yeah. <laughs> right. I talked about. Um, now leads to the question: Who was the guy that died doing that? Oh, the lead singer of NXS died doing that. Yeah, yeah. Michael there, Hutchins. I, I knew there was like one famous. Example. I think there's been multiple though. I don't yeah. think he's the only one. Um, the question with Dame is because the Heat thought they had him. We'll talk about the Heat in a minute. But do NBA teams owe their stars? to trade them where they want to be traded? The answer is, of course, no, The, right? the answer is, of course, no. Uh, and this is a frustration for every casual basketball fan. Um, you have to be an extremely online NBA NBA hole, shall we say, mm-hmm. uh, to be someone who defends, like, the, the current iteration of the NBA where, like, shit like this can happen. Where, where Damian Lillard could just stomp his feet and be like, I don't want to be here anymore. Right. And then they have to kowtow to that. Um but having said all that, that is the reality of like what the NBA is, and the Blazers—they're not doing it to be kind. They are doing it because like w- whatever the system has become, they kind of do get fucked on the leverage of it all, and it is yeah. kind of like like whether good, bad, or otherwise. That's <clears throat> that's the reality of the situation is that the that once your superstar is like, I don't want to be here, please yeah. trade me. You kind of have to do it. Okay, so I think this is a two part argument. I don't hate when I don't hate the fact that players say I want to be traded. That's been happening since the beginning of sports. It, it really has. We might act like it hasn't. Kareem Abdul Jabbar did it when he was yeah. on the Bucks and he's yeah. like, Fuck this place, I want to go to like, LA and if a guy says I want to be traded, okay, that's reasonable. You don't want to go through another rebuild, you're tired of us trying to do this, that whatever. But you don't get to pick your team. You don't get to say that's, I'm that's going the absurd part. I, I want to go to Miami, trade me to Miami, because then that limits me. I can't get back what I need to get back right, for you. Right. Uh, and what did the Blazers get back? They got back um, Drew Holiday and, and DeAndre Ayton. Like that's yep. pretty good haul. That that that's not terrible for for what they had to go through. Um, so no, they don't owe it to him to shop him and ship him to Miami. Right. And that that was super frustrating as we were going through the process. Was that it felt like. Like, like all these reports coming out that Dame would not report to Toronto. Like, Toronto was a team that suddenly came out of nowhere. Right. Uh, they, they might be trading for him. and But then I, I you see headlines that, like, if Dame gets traded to Toronto, he's just not going to show up, and he's not going to – that kind of shit is disgusting to me. Disgusting, Brandon. 
I, I really I really am bummed out. Like in all seriousness, I'm bummed out because like Damian Lillard uh, was supposed to not be like those other guys. You know, like that was his whole brand. He it, this makes him a fraud, doesn't yeah. it? Well, this he, whole thing makes him a fraud. He played there ten years, right? Ten, eleven years. I don't know if it makes him a fraud. I mean, it just makes. But when you he that's what the NBA is. He's though. been calling out dudes left and right about, yeah. you know, not not being on their grind shit and like not, you know. Like like jumping from team to team and all that, and then you come out and you say, "I'm I not only am I demanding a trade, but I if I don't go to the Heat, then I'm not going to show up." Which like, I, I'm going to go ahead and guess that Damian Lillard uh, is going yeah. to show up for the Milwaukee Bucks now. Um, yeah, well, it is something that if you want to go live in Miami and live that life and be a millionaire in Miami, instead you have to do it in Milwaukee. That's that's probably disappointing. That sucks, but if you yeah. want to win a championship, Mil- uh, Milwaukee's I, th- a good place is, to be. This was the better situation for him than if he got traded with Miami. Well, this I think Miami better- would have would have been a good situation. I don't know about great because what would they have given up to to get right. him? Right. So they're going to give up a, a few things to get him. Milwaukee, though, they're they're ready to roll. Now they did lose Drew Holiday, who's a very good defensive player. I want to talk because you said before the show, you said Drew Holiday might be the most underrated player in the history of the NBA. Did you say that? Yeah, I believe that. Expand on that. Um, I don't think people give him credit offensively for how good he is. I think he's been a very good offensive player, like good at finishing around the rim. And he's maybe for the last decade been the best perimeter defender in the NBA in terms for guards. Yeah. I, I'm with five time all NBA. I, I, yeah, Drew Drew Holiday. So th- this is a trade the Bucks had to make. Um, but if if you fast forward to the playoffs and suddenly the Bucks are like scoring a ton of points, but they're not stopping anybody. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm, I'm so, not. Gonna, I'm not going to pretend like I'm shocked. But at the same time, of course, you love the trade for the Bucks because the Bucks, as good as they are, Giannis is the one superstar that's maybe in NBA history that uh, is is so fucking good. Might be the best player in the league, but he's like the one guy you could say that about that you can't just throw the ball to and say go get us a bucket, right. which is like really weird about him. Yeah. Um. And so when when things go wrong for the Bucks. Drew Holiday, as great as he was, like he's not that dude. You couldn't just like give him the ball and say, "Go get us a bucket." Chris Middleton could do it every so often, but he'd do it. Yeah. He would do it just enough to be frustrating that he couldn't do it. He all would the do time. it off the back of Giannis, though. Yeah, right. He would do it after Giannis kind of pulled the pulled the defense away. Or he'd do it like in Game Two, and you're like, "Oh, thank God, we got that guy." And then Game Three, he wouldn't do he it. Scored and you're six like, points, Fuck, yeah. you know. So ha- they had to do it for that reason. Now, Damian, Lill- if the offense stalls, which it won't, but it, it, having, having Dame, but even if it did, you could throw Dame the ball and say, like, go create something, and you still have like their offense is now awesome. They're gonna be they're gonna be really fucking good. But yeah, Drew Holiday, their perimeter defense is is a definite concern. Um, Lopez and Giannis are still great, but like I don't, I, I uh, yeah, th- that's that's what's gonna be fascinating to me is like they did Drew Holiday was was super valuable to them and. Uh, you know, but, snuck, but, but, they're, but they got better. You know, who snuck out like bandits here was, was was Phoenix. Like they didn't have a bench. They they have like three or four great players, no bench, and they came out of this with like three three or four. They got Grayson Allen to put on their bench. Yeah, and they came out here with some bench players that they didn't have. So uh, that's the NBA talk for today. Is it? We're done. Are we that not done? It? All right. We don't yeah, have to the be. The Athletic done. did post a list Shit. this morning oh. of the teams that were interested in the trade, and the Heat is not on this list. So. Hmm. Well, so if I'm the Heat, right, and I know the guy comes, I'm def- I'm not giving him my best offer. And frankly, the Heat, they got Butler, and then they got um, Adebayo, right? Past that, they just got a bunch of role players that play well in their system. How are they going to – they're not really the, trade bait. The Heat – They don't really have a lot of tradable pieces. So the problem with the Heat is the Heat, like uh, Pat Riley and Spolstra, they, they, they do – smell their own farts a lot that like the heat culture stuff which yeah. is easily mockable but then then the problem with that is that when you're an eight seed and you go to the nba finals it's kind of hard for outsiders to criticize this idea of heat culture because you're like damn i guess maybe there is something to that but i i think that's what's good like i think damon lillard said i want to go to the heat the heat were like we we they have a little hubris about the whole situation and i think they're like we're going to wow. end up with him in the end because we're the heat and we have and it always works out for us and then it didn't because he called culture might work for them. But if I'm another team and I'm looking at their team to see which players I want, I want Jimmy Butler. I want right. Bam. Right. I don't want the guy who just got hot in the playoffs. Right. Who you're paying 50 bucks an hour to go out there and shoot threes. I don't want that guy. Cause he works for your system. Not mine. Yeah. Duncan Robinson. Right. Does he have as much of a value? Well, he doesn't really have much value. I mean, Struess doesn't but... really move the needle for the, for, for Portland. I don't think Struess is in Cleveland now. Struess is in Cleveland now. Is he really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Struess is in Cleveland. How now. do you know that? Because uh, basketball is kind of my thing. Um, I thought college I know ball. basketball was. I know all ball. Can I get a fact check on Struess in Cleveland? Max Struess, uh, Cleveland Cavalier. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, currently Cleveland Cavalier. He's go ahead, Hickory uh, Hills, Illinois. TJ, fuck, go fuck. ahead and uh, go ahead and give me a point. Um, How'd you know that? Do you know his college? Yeah, he does. From? He's uh, he's DePaul, right? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, make it two. TJ. Why would you get two for that? That was easy. Because you didn't know. I knew it. You, he asked I was you. Like, you do he, it. No. Why, why? Why would I do the college no. basketball guy thing? I, I didn't want. Please. Uh, Please. This, this show is going to end up looking like the Georgia Tech Cumberland score from nineteen twelve. It really is. Yeah. Uh, did do uh did you see the video of uh Jimmy Butler on Instagram <laughs> yeah. reacting to this trade? Yeah. I, um Jimmy Butler, man. He he I don't know what to make of Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Jimmy it, this is uh it, it's been really frustrating cuz I I would say Jimmy Butler and Dame were my two favorite American players like 18 months ago. I would if you would have been if you would have asked me who are your two cuz like basically every likable guy in the league now is not from America. <laughs> uh, Jokic is fucking awesome, and Giannis is awesome. But uh, you know the the American guys are the ones that ask for trades. And you're not the a ones Mike Conley are, guy. I am a Mike Conley guy. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, Just he's not a he's not an NBA player to me. He's a he's a close personal friend. <laughs> I don't see him as a. You know, he doesn't exist for. You my don't see Jersey when you look at him. No, no, no. Huh? Okay. He doesn't exist for my entertainment. <laughs> I see the human being that he is. Makes sense. Sorry, my bad. Um. No, I, Dame, and, Dame and Jimmy were awesome because they did feel like they were different. They felt like they had different uh, paths to the NBA. They were both like, you know, like Jimmy went to community college before he went to Marquette and Dame yeah. goes to Weber State. And like, I know, agree. With it's, all like this, this. it's like this whole culture of uh, in the NBA is like a bunch of dudes that had smoke blown up their ass when they were like seven years old. And so like once they get to the NBA, they become divas, right? Right. And these two dudes were different. I would add Kawhi to this list too. I think he yeah. he, he kind of goes with his list. But too. then when he, like the Kawhi, the way he left San Antonio, kind of yeah. But you're you're right. Like I did like Kawhi for a long time, and then like the he gets his uncle involved with uh, the San Antonio bullshit. Uh, but anyway, all that's to say they kind of like pissed that down the drain. I think I think Jimmy Jimmy is is weird because he does like when he plays, he's he it's very easy to root for him. He does have like the underdog mentality, right? Um, but. Making that making that video and bitching about tampering was was a was a tough look for you. Jimmy. Know what the definition of tampering is? I would say demanding a trade to one team and then saying I won't report to any. Yeah, <laughs> that feels like a saying hey trade me but only to one team and shut up. Yeah, <laughs> and and if you don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you look bad. That's tampering. Yeah, well, just to pose a little bit of a question: Who do you guys think is like the biggest? person responsible for this culture that we have in the NBA where it is like that where people are asking to be traded I, I, and you can only trade me to this one team I think it goes back a lot longer than people want to realize I, people want to want to put it on people like a LeBron or something like that it go again he said it but Lou Alcindor or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the 70s demanded a trade like yeah, this this has been going on this for gone a while. 50 or 60 years I mean this is not something new to the NBA it's happened a lot I, I hell remember I, he never exactly demanded a trade or got it, but Jordan had big problems with his front office. Like, yeah. like the, these front Kobe office. Demand, Kobe wanted to get traded to the Bulls. Yeah. That's the, the thing uh, that, that people do forget. These front that, office superstar struggles have happened as long as basketball has happened. Yeah. Because basketball stars carry more weight in their individual team than any other sports stars. Yeah. Outside of quarterback now, but probably. The, the one difference is the 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 list of guys who had leverage I think back then was like two guys like six so Kareem did this is nothing new that Kareem did demand a trade but Kareem was also the greatest player that ever played basketball so like he had and I think the the leverage line has fallen immensely to where you can be like the 48th best yeah. player in the league and demand a trade and they will kowtow to you also, where back in the day it was like unless you're one of the top two or three guys shut the fuck up and go play basketball and that that tug of war has, I think that is, and that has changed. To answer your question, Connor, it's Adam Silver. We blame Adam Silver. Yeah, yeah Adam Silver. Adam Silver really just league, looks yeah. like an alien. In fairness, David, David Stern would. David Stern would. Uh, the, the great thing. About I mean, he what co ifs he cooked the books sometimes too to make sure the right trades got in the right places. The great thing about the the what ifs is that uh, we have no idea. But the, I I just like to, the the fantasy I tell myself is David Stern would have put a stop to all this bullshit and. He did. He wouldn't let Chris Paul go to. Um, yeah, which was good for the league. Yeah, well, I mean, he he would get his that, that, and the Patrick Ewing thing, a, maybe, maybe the the frozen envelope. You know, he would he would cook the books every now and then. No, that's that's a different thing, though. It but, is. But if Patrick Ewing was like unhappy in New York, David Stern would have said, "Shut the foot. We need a superstar in New York. So shut your mouth." And in go fairness to LeBron, a lot of people are saying LeBron. I didn't look at the chat, but I can feel him saying <laughs> LeBron. Uh, in fairness to LeBron, 
I don't know that he's ever demanded a trade, right? He's always just that waited. He's always, he's waited till it was he, he his was contract free. Was up, yeah. Waited till he was free agent and then made a decision based on that. I don't remember him ever making. Why did you say in fairness to LeBron? No one said anything bad about LeBron. You kind of said it like we were, we were shitting on LeBron. No, nobody to, here was shitting on you LeBron. To, you had I could feel counter. it though. I could feel it in my in my bones that somebody out there was shitting on oh, LeBron. Oh, okay. Somebody or, or like typing it out. Like I, someone was typing that out somewhere. Maybe <laughs> so they could have been. <laughs> um, I was just I don't know. I was but where? Sta- but I was where would they off, be typing that out? I was I staring off into space, and it just came to me. It bothered me. I, you know whether you know Frumple Fart sixty nine said it or not. Who knows? We're definitely getting a decision part two this off season. You think so? Oh yeah. It's about, Am I retiring? Well, am I coming back? Oh, be I actually, I actually like your uh, your take on LeBron, which uh, I I thought about, um, and it made a lot of sense to me that the Olympics might be that that checks out. Yeah, it'd be a good swan song. It'd be a good swan song, but I don't. It was Larry Bird's swan song. Yeah, but like, cause, cause how how does it end for LeBron? It can't just it, like it's not going to just simply end with like losing in six games in the second round. Right. You know? I think like he, he's, he's going to have some calculated. He wants to play with his son, but his son's heart almost exploded. Right. So, like, I don't, I don't know if that's a realistic. I mean, whatever way happens this this season, I, I don't know that the Lakers will be good enough to win a championship. Maybe they are, uh, but I think they lose, and he he rallies, he wins the gold medal, and was he got two years on his contract guys? though? Maybe I don't. Know. He can retire whenever he wants. I know, but the man, he we just said it. He plays out all his contracts. He's a man of his word. Hmm. He says he's going to do something. Also, um. <laughs> Not one, not two, not three. <laughs> uh, you know, he could play like two or three more years and just try to make that scoring record as as safe as possible. Just just pump the numbers just, up. Just just try to just get go get yeah. buckets. Just hey, all of a sudden he averages thirty eight three and three. I wonder how untouchable that scoring record will actually be because as the NBA, well, as I'm, the scoring because because the 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 rules just become like as dudes are shooting more threes. Yeah. As uh. The, the the rules are catered to the offense more. Um, I wonder with like with uh, you know medicines and all that. But the, I guess the one issue as I'm as I'm thinking through this is load management will stop guys. Because I, but I I do think that like guys that are entering the league now could it could be commonplace to play in your 40s. Maybe, sure. but but look but at look no at Kareem's record. Kareem's record survived guys like Michael. It survived guys like Kobe. Like it's it, true. It, it took LeBron. That's a lot of fucking points. LeBron never really got hurt. Like it took. LeBron went 20 years never really getting hurt and and to beat it. And so it was kind of special. It took a lot. That to, is true. To, to that is it. that is one of the uh the under the radar things about LeBron is just he he simply never got hurt. Never got hurt. Just absolutely blessed. Yeah, played with, uh, uh <laughs> played a bunch of games. <laughs> um, he did sign a 2-year contract by the way, so he'll be a free agent in 2025. Uh he'll be 41. So he's still got yeah, he he I think he's gonna play till he's like forty five, dude. Because the th- the thing too about LeBron that he could how did how do we get on LeBron? We I don't know. You Miller. started it. Oh, literally, literally, I think I was looking off in the, in the sunset, and the sun brought it. The to sunset us. at the yes. wall right there at yeah. nine a.m. Yes, yeah, at nine a.m. Um, the uh, the thing too, like LeBron could. I I I really do think this man could play at like fifty years old and still he's not gonna be the best player in the league or but like if LeBron if LeBron wants to swallow his pride which you know is a huge ass for that guy yeah. and come off the bench in the NBA he could he could honestly like play till he's like almost 60 probably he he could be like a 50 so, year old LeBron as a seventh man on a team would still yeah be I good. agree here's the thing about LeBron he's an athletic freak 68 and been the most athletic guy for 20 years right but the way he plays would have a phenomenal old man game yeah, exactly. He could, yeah. If you turn his back to the basket and just let him find open cutters and open shooters or with, with passes, like he could do that till he dies. Yeah. Um, if you stayed at your current age and athletic ability, how old would LeBron need to be before he could beat him in a one-on-one? If I stayed, well, I mean, he would have. He would I'm not have beating be him before he dies. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not. Dead. I would have to beat him on his deathbed. I'd have to go um, into the funeral home and and put up a, a hoop. I would feel comfortable once he's like 60 i would say i think you might need 65 or 70 he's no big, he's big guy 62 62 you could be right now you, you uh, how about this what can i have my peak body can i have sure okay i would think i would then need lebron to be like 62 that's what i just said yeah you but you said you were using your body now this isn't your peak body is it I just like, are you peaking every day of your life? I peak. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I never stop peaking. <laughs> I peaked this morning actually before I came here. Um, that's a that's a good question. At my peak, 
I don't know. Yeah. Did you peak in college? Did you or you peak like two years after college? No, I peaked. I peaked my or, sophomore year of college. Did you? That was the last time I tried hard. That's why I. Okay. Yeah, I. My freshman year, we went to we. You know, I was on the one of the best teams in the country. So I was like, yeah, of course I'm not going to play on this team. Sophomore year, we sucked. And I didn't think I was going to start. I didn't think I was going to like actually play Just a lot. But play. I thought there were like scenarios where, um, yeah, we're up by ten with two minutes left in the first half. Maybe they throw me in because save one of our some best foul trouble. Yeah, yeah, save some foul. Like just have me eat a couple minutes. And then when I didn't play that year, I was like, oh, so I, I'm just never going to fucking play. And then Started that's that's when I, in. That's now, I got fat. <laughs> why didn't you transfer to like a lower level and go play? Um, because, uh, clout really, it was clout. Oh, it was a clout sense. play. Yeah. That it was more sense. like, was the blog already taken off? No, that's why I started the blog. Yeah. Okay. I started the blog. I, I, I looked around at coattails I could ride. Um, that makes sense. Uh, it was just a clout play. And, that's uh, why you're worked. on this show. And, that, and it worked. Yeah. And, and it worked for me. Sucking off uh, my clout. I th <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it off your clout. That's what it is. Dude. I, I can't, I can't sign on to Twitter anymore without, uh, people telling me that they they would watch the show but they can't because you blocked them uh they still could watch no 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 they're like no 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 no. this is this is an everyday occurrence for me it's like it, i'll tweet out a link i'll be like we're doing mostly sports uh we're about to go live or after the show i'm like man uh, nobody gets more shit on sports. twitter than me nobody gets uh, I, I i get pictures of my kids sent to me i get all this crazy shit do you want me to not block people i'm gonna block people all right, I'm, I'm just saying this is this is every day of my life. Connor, it's, unblock everybody here. This is every day of my life. I, I, I get on the internet and people say, listen, Titus, I would love to follow the show. I can't because Brandon blocked me. And then I say, I, I have no choice but to say I understand. And apparently they're clicking on the link. They try to watch the show. They can't see your part, Brandon. You're, hmm. they're, they're blocked. <laughs> So they, like they try to watch the show, they just see me talking to to nobody, and then, and then that might improve the experience. <laughs> you don't know that it doesn't. And then when it's your turn to talk, it's just a black screen, and then I pop back on. Are you having trouble figuring out? I have no where idea the what blocked I'm doing. Accounts are. Yes, <laughs> yes, I I'll, I give up. We could probably we could we could double our numbers. We could uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there that want to watch the show, but they can't. Cause Twitter, we, I would say to Twitter or X or whatever you are. Uh, if you could just make a button that says unblock everybody, that would help a lot. You can't, they don't have that. Really? They don't have that. They don't, you have to go individually. And All it, right. Well, yeah, don't do that yeah. on the show right now. We should probably do the Aren't rest they getting of the rid of blocks anyway. No, they were, but they can't, they can't legally do that. Yeah. Elon, Elon just says a bunch of shit. By the way, out, that then, countdown's starting to go down. Yeah, it is. We're going to be in, we're going to have a new studio and buddy, when this I didn't, fucking, I didn't notice when was, we get in was, our actual studio, this show's going to fucking pop. You think so? We got stripper poles. We got we got stuff. Is our studio going to be bigger than this one? Because I I doubt I it. I feel like it's going to be half the I, size. I half the size would be a miracle. It would be a, I'd say a quarter of the size. Orientation is different, but it works better for a two person show. I guess you guys are out. There, there's a couch for. for the See oh, you guys. guys. You guys get on the casting couch. <laughs> so long, <laughs> Scoof. We'll work with it. Um, oh, I'm excited. Talk about Shady Rays. No, I'm gonna talk. I thought I was going to talk about cars.com. Talk about cars.com. That's my fault. I will have to add to you. In well, I don't need it because I can talk about cars.com all day, every day. It's a leading digital resource to find your next possibility online. Your car says so much about you, folks. It says that you're a cool, swinging, hip guy like me, or you're an old fuddy duddy like Mark. I believe he drives. Fuddy duddy? A fuddy duddy. I don't know why. Fuddy duddy? A fuddy duddy. Say it to my face again. You're a fuddy duddy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest fight ever. <laughs> you motherfucker. Okay. I'll start over with cars.com. Cars.com is leading digital marketing. Pl Again. Again. Cars.com. For 25 years, the leading digital marketplace to find, buy, finance your car. You can put a number to how many possibilities there are. Millions. There are millions. Uh, they, they have up to 50,000 cars uploaded daily. Up to 2 million cars are on there at all times. Every possibility you want is on there. Cars.com. Find your next possibility on cars.com. Where to next? That was pretty good for having no copy in front of you. I will say. Well, yeah, that was nice. Evo, what's what's going on here, buddy? Well, you did say this morning you could do it off the top of your head. I, so. I didn't know you were going to take that as a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's he going to do? Brandon says a lot of shit, as it turns out. <laughs> what's he going to do? <laughs> he, he has I my computer right here. Yeah. Or, now, he can, or he can ad lib. Maybe I everyone ad libs today. But we also don't know what we're doing exactly. For How this are we going to do this? Reading. 
I don't know, dude. Um, I brought. Do you want to take a day off? Yeah, let's take a day off. Let's just take a day off. I'd be fine. Yeah. Can't do take it every day. Off. Yeah. Just give me one. Because I feel like I feel like yeah yeah we we got to go back to the, maybe we take the rest of the season off. Let's just let's just want to go. No, I met with him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh I know you oh, want to oh, go. That's oh. all you want to do. You want to? We'll do the rest of the show. You go sit over there, pull up your computer, and you can talk shit to everybody in the chat, which is what I know you really want to do right now. That's all you really want to. That's do. That's the only time I get to read them. Most of them are blocked. <laughs> I never get to you talk re- to them. You really, you truly cannot block this out. I, I like, have you, a hard I, time. I want to do some therapy with my you. eye. My like, eye line why? is is directly. Do you see where it is? Every time, every time Big Cat walks in here too, you get distracted, and I don't. And, but but you always say it from a point of view that like the rest of us can't see him. We all we all see it, Brandon. We all see it. We all. See You're the more chat. of a professional than I am. Would you like me to say that out loud? Kind of. Yeah. Um. I mean, God, you went to are Fox. We, I work at fucking Barstool. Are we done with uh, – All right, we went 30 we minutes on the NBA. NBA. I think we're done with the NBA. Yeah. Um, NFL, I have some questions. It's an activity. Short activity, but it's an activity nonetheless. Go ahead. Done or not? Oh, yeah, you, you, you started this not too long ago, and then uh, – Now I'm going to actually do it. Because your ADD brain, you, you, you started it, but we never actually did it. Do insults work for you? Do you feel like insults work? Do you not have ADD brain? Do you feel like insults work to to further your goals in life? <laughs> have you got to where you've gotten by by virtue of insults? Once again, I say prove me wrong. Do you not have ADD brain? I don't have ADD. Okay. I've never been diagnosed anyway. Okay. Okay. Done or not? Done or not? Done or not? These one and two teams. D U N N E R K N O T. The done or not? It, you have to answer if this is Adam Dunn or a sailing knot <laughs> used on the ship. Not done. Um, okay. One and two teams. Is this team done or not? Okay. The I'm just going off of – I'm just going to go off of uh, just gut, t- gut vibes. Just I'm tell not, me, done or not? Yeah, this is just – That's uh, the answer. I'm just raw dogging it here. I'm One not, and two I'm Patriots. Not stats. Uh, not. Incorrect. Not. They're done. They're not good. That quarterback's not good. Their, their quarterback's not good. Their defense is good. So, I'm going to say not. I, 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 that's a we'll see for me. I, the one and two Jets. Done. The, their, de- their defense is good too, but that quarterback is – The Raiders. Is Joe Namath level bad? Um, <laughs> the Raiders, done. Done. The Chargers? Not, but also done. They're, they're not technically, but we all know how this story ends. I think they're not done. They could get they're not I think the, they're, they're good not, enough to get yeah, They could get hot. Yeah, they're not, there, is, there is a path, but we all know that once what, – we all know what's going to happen, but – if their jerseys didn't say Chargers, and it was, it was a complete, if this was a completely different football team, different coaches, different players, different jerseys, I would say not done. Well, if the jersey didn't say Chargers, <laughs> it would be confusing because the helmets have the lightning bolt on them. Yeah, and the helmets didn't say lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an awesome helmet to say <laughs> Helvetica <laughs> font in 12 <laughs> point font. <laughs> lightning bolts. Um, the one and two Cincinnati Bengals. Not, but I will. Kind of, kind of, though, right? We we said it the other day, and um, I don't think it's a joke. I, I think it's I think it's a serious serious uh, observation here that uh, Joe Burrow is not going to get it healthy this year. He's just like they're. He, How do you know? You're not a doctor. You can't play through a calf. In, like it's not like he's going to wake up in week 14 and be like, "Thank God, I'm 100 percent for this playoff run coming up." Right? Like this is going to be a lingering injury all season. So I understand that Joe Burrow is not fully healthy. And that what we're seeing from the Bengals is not the full form, but I I do think it's a serious thing. I think it's a serious concern to say I don't know if we're ever going to see it this year. Are you excited about the possible MJF uh, switchblade Jay White match? No. Uh, one uh, th- file that one under done. Yes, done. The, the, the WWE done. I'm going to tell MJF, and when he comes on the show, he's is MJF gonna, WWE? He's yeah. AEW. Okay. He's coming on the show, and he's and I'm going to tell him all the bad things does, you said about. Does does Roman Reigns still do the spear? He does. Oh, dude, what a sick move that is. <laughs> well, here's my, here's my finishing move. Let me spear here's you my right finishing now. Move. Here it comes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tackle you. <laughs> and wait, wait. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Punch in the face, bitch. <laughs> my God. My God. What happened to WWE? Why is there a Tide pin right here? I don't know. You've been holding Why it for you... three days. <laughs> it's just been what, here. What made you think of that right now, right this second? Like, <laughs> I just thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Why, serious question. Why is the chat on the screen? Uh, great question, Mark. Um, it's good for live interaction. But what about 
if they're it in promotes the promotes people typing because they could see their own name on TV. Okay, you know what else promotes it is Brandon acknowledging every single comment I have on the screen. It does <laughs> help. If they're in the chat, can't they just see the chat? It's a it's a, it's a psychology. So we're tricking them. Yeah. It's some sort of device. Every, every yeah. major Twitch streamer. Oh, uh, we're making you guys feel important. Sam Gore, you're not important. You blocked bitch. Well, you just Brandon. said his name, so he is important. Nah, Brandon. Sam Gore's not a, He's who on said, the show. Brandon, our our viewers are very stupid. <laughs> no, I know. Right. And we're tricking them. Yeah, and they're probably ugly too. Um, they are highly regarded. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's our people. The highly regarded, extremely regarded, mostly sports listeners. The most heads, <laughs> all the most heads out there. Um, they're some of the most <laughs> regarded people we know. The uh, one and two. Uh, th these are easy. Texans. They're done. They're, they're done. done. Yeah, but CJ Stroud. He's pretty good. Has he already won Rookie of the Year? I think he has. He's got a he's got a hell of a lead. It, it is very frustrating that CJ Stroud. I, I I knew this was going to happen. CJ Stroud at Ohio State was a better prospect than Justin Fields, but this is the I, I don't know if this is the joy of college football or the frustration of college football. Justin Fields will to every Ohio State fan will forever no questions asked. CJ Stroud could win a hundred Super Bowls, and Justin Fields will be the better quarterback to Ohio State fans. Why though? You you know the answer why, like you he didn't win a I, national I title. I shouldn't have to explain. He the, didn't win a national title. I shouldn't have to explain the psychology of like what goes into he, college he, fandom. Okay, because he, 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 beat beat he beat the shit out of Michigan. Secondly, he beat the shit out of Dabo. He was playing a different Michigan though. Well, you can't play the same Michigan guys graduate and move on. Like you can't you can't just you can't play the exact See, same. Can team. Can y'all fact check that if you can play the same college team <laughs> you every year? You can't play the same team every year. I feel like you can. Um, Twenty twenty Michigan was dog shit. They also didn't play. They also didn't even play that game. That's yeah. also true. So <laughs> that's a good point. point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, he 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 ended Dabo, Dabo. How do mm -hmm. you say it? Dabo. Every day, every goddamn day. I'm not doing a bit, Dabo. dude. I really don't remember. Yeah, I'm, why I do you say God, Dabo? I, I swear to God, that's just one of those things. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Hickory Dickory Doc. The mouse ran up the clock. Um, Coach Sweeney and then <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dabo. Dabo. Why do I fuck that up? Dab. Dab. Oh. Yeah. Do the dab, Brent. Dab. Dabo? Oh. That sounds so wrong. That's not wrong. Dabo uh, Sweeney. <laughs> Dabo. Why is Dabo seem <laughs> Why is Dabo seeming better? I really I I'm not I'm not trying to be funny. I, I I really can't get his name right. But to answer the question, I mean Justin Fields killed this man. And he did it with a broken rib. That's why. He's got heart, dude. And and CJ Stroud has a doofus face. CJ Stroud would like you know, CJ Stroud doesn't have a doofus face. Dude, we would have drives that would stall against Michigan. CJ Stroud See, would go sit on the bench. He lost to Michigan and you just turn on him like that. If, he lost, first of all, he lost to Michigan twice. Secondly, he's got a doofus face. And when, when you know, like a, a Justin Fields drive would stall, he'd be on the bench clapping him up. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It would cut to CJ Stroud and he would just have like the Squidward just doofus like, you know. <laughs> And he's just he's just staring into the abyss. What what would he be like? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like waiting. Is it my turn to go play football again? Um, Guys, I want to play. But having said all that, like if like the guy is an incredible thrower of a football. If and, he's and protected, he's, he he yeah, throws perfect he footballs is. almost every time. And I was willing to, I was willing to say that, but I just like Justin Fields better. I, I mean, I I agree that C.J. Stroud is a better. NFL prospect, Can we move on to the next team, or you want to do this Ohio State bullshit all day? I thought I thought pointing out that C.J. Stroud, in, in, at a time when all the quarterbacks stink, to have a rookie that's uh, lighting up the league, I, th I felt like he that is was good. noteworthy. I'll, I'll give you. Felt that. like that was noteworthy, but I guess we don't want to talk. We don't want to talk ball on this show. The Go one, ahead, whatever. The one, <laughs> the talk one, about whatever you want to talk about. Lightning. That's a, that's, that's a great. That's, that's actually a not a bad one. alternative. <laughs> Penn State will call that <laughs> classic. <laughs> um, I don't hate that. Uh, that alternate. That's uniform. one of my beefs with college football is we have these. Uh, we have some uniforms and helmets that are just bad, but we call them iconic because they've been around for 80 years. Like Michigan's helmet is objectively ugly. Alabama's uniforms are objectively yeah. ugly uniforms. Mi Penn State like, is playing like Penn State's Michigan a junior putting high. the helmet stickers on is a is a huge swing and a miss to me. I agree. Like Michigan, helmet stickers belong to you guys. Michigan, if if you just left the Michigan helmets as is. You know, I, I, you still think those are ugly, just like the the standard Michigan helmet without the stickers. I think they're ugly, yeah. Yeah, um, but even like those are kind of like you know they're they're iconic. Have you ever seen them but, not uh, on Michigan? You, like like who? Yeah. Princeton has them. Delaware wears them. Does Delaware? Delaware. Yeah. Doesn't Princeton? They're have them? so it's ugly. Like, does Princeton have them? I don't think they do. Yeah, they no, might. Princeton, Princeton does the, it with the uh, orange and black instead of blue and gold. Does Princeton? Well, have that's them? what he he didn't mean. <laughs> the exact same helmets. I'm sorry, you're my guy. You're my guy. 
Yeah, uh, Delaware does it. Or does Princeton do the P? Princeton does a really knockoff version of it. It does not look like the Michigan do the helmet. Pr- I need to see what the Princeton helmets look like. Eh, I guess kind of it is more like the design. Um, I mean, that is that, literally oh, the design. Black. No, that's different. That, that's literally the design. That's so different. The black is shaped different what are we ta- front. That's so what different. are we talking? It's the that exact same like, design. That's so different. I mean, you see how to see because that's black. See, and that's on color. Are you that's- blind? No, 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 no. Here, Dude, that is that is literally the exact same some, design, just different colors. Some I know it's different colors, obviously, but some pictures look different in terms of how like Why the weird holler? block is. Quit hollering. Quit yeah. hollering, Titus. Uh, right. uh, yeah, it's I, an ugly I, uniform. Yeah, regardless, Princeton though. lost the first college football game. To who, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> is that not the same design? Eh. It's the wing. It's the wing helmet, but All right. I think it's I, slightly I, the, different. Why am I losing my – because I feel like I'm, I'm – Can I continue with Dunn or not? Because we, we haven't even got through Dunn or not yet. Okay, go ahead. I guess, yeah, but I – the one and two giants. The fact that like no one's backing me up on that's the exact that's the of Ebo, course that's Ebo, the same that's design. design. Yeah, okay. of course that's the same. Okay, but the colors were different. Do you not understand that? The one and two giants. Why do you get uh, so worked up? It's you, dude. It's you. It's literally you. I've done. I do. I've done a million shows my entire life until I met you. I've never once gotten worked up like this before. Never once. There's not a single. I, I go find a clip of me getting worked up before you came into my life. The one and two giants. Done. Yeah, I think so too. The Rams, sneaky, done. sneaky, not done. I don't know. I They're can't done. figure them out. They want to be done, but they they can't get out of their own way. They, they I think they came into the season. I think you're right. They want to be bad, but they can't, they can't. They can't yeah. quite be bad because they have like a bunch of young dudes that don't get it yet. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, um, and and McVeigh and Stafford are like, guys, we're trying to suck here, and and um, they can't get out of their own way. The Titans, they're boring. The Titans are done. Yeah. And the Cardinals are definitely done. Well, although they got a little spice to them. They got a little spice, but they're done. Yeah. And the, there's four zero and three teams. They're all done, right? Broncos, Panthers, Vikings, Bears. I guess the Vikings. I don't. Are the only think the, one. I don't. The Vikings aren't done. The Vikings aren't done because they're still going to try at least. And I don't. Well, I, they won the division last year, and they're they're still a good football team. Yeah. And um, they're not done yet. I don't. I don't mean to say they're they're going to win the division again, and yeah. you know, go on. But I don't. I don't think we're we can be done with. The I agree. Yet. I don't think they they're not in that point of their life cycle where they're like. All right, well we're gonna we're gonna phone it in now because they still think they got. They a could chance. still easily go ten and seven. The Vikings could go ten. Or do you want me to read the schedule? Who, oh and my let goodness! Me, uh, look, hold on a second. There's Let's, no way to decide if they're gonna go ten and seven without reading the we schedule. We have to. I can't. You can't just throw out ten and seven without. Um, can't throw out any sort of, I'm surprised we read. We we talked about zero and three. We gotta have some sort of idea of. All right, so they're at the Panthers on Sunday. That's a that's a dub. That should be a dub. Um, now, if they lose to the Panthers, they're done. Mm-hmm. If you go 0-4. Right. Do the Panthers become not done then? Because they'd be 1-3. and three. Is this the done bowl? That's a we'll see situation. All right. We'll, 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 uh, then they get the Chiefs at home, which it is the Chiefs, but they can beat them. Like, the Chiefs are going to lose games. They, Chief the Chiefs lost the already lost. The yeah. Chiefs already lost at uh, home. Okay, all right. Also, um, Taylor Swift probably won't be at that game. Taylor Swift won't be at that I, game. I, you know, you say that. I think we might be entering a season where she's at every game. I don't think so. So she obviously went to Kansas City the other day. Now she's going to be in New York because, duh. But here's here's a dumb question: Is she done with her tour? It's she must be right until mid October, I think. Oh, well, mid October seems like that's right in the middle of football season. So I I would guess that once mid October comes around, she might stop coming to the games. What if he started missing games to go to her concert? Go to her concerts. You you don't know that's not going to happen. Um. <laughs> So she she tours uh, October 18th through November 3rd, right. and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Where's so she going? She, she will be in Miami. Are we reading her schedule now? Yeah. Are we stopping the schedule? Are we reading her schedule? Well, there's a lot of schedules here. Doing, okay, no, two, you, you do your schedule. What schedule are we doing? Uh, let's do it back and forth. You give me. Oh, you, I'll do one, you do one. Yeah, you do. Uh, give me a Vikings so game. So after the Chiefs, they're at the Bears. That's a dub. Where's she at after Miami? Um, she opens at Miami in, on uh, October 18th, and then on Sunday, or sorry, next week, October 25th, she goes and travels to New Orleans. So oh, and who are the Vikings at? Uh, then they get the uh, Niners at home. That that they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose one of the Niners or the Chiefs. Can probably. I just say that the New Orleans show gives us possibility of Ben Mint shaking titties at the Taylor Swift Eras tour. So <laughs> imagine him doing one of his post game videos, uh, right, blocking Swifties from the aisle. I he, think he that uh, got. I would say he could have a free ticket to so he's still going to widespread panic over. That's true. What would you say? I was going to say, I think that one of us should probably date a pop star to boost our pod numbers because the New Heights podcast had 80,000 live viewers the other day. Okay, let's talk. I'll date Selena Gomez if we need to. Oh. 
I was going to say it needed to be one of me and Mark. Uh, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> um, do we have to date or can I just, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was oh. my first celebrity crush, DJ Selena Gomez. Yeah, she's up there. She she's a. Uh, I will date Selena doing, Gomez as well. I, I will she's doing well for right. herself right now, right? Uh, she's well. been going viral recently. She's been going, yeah, for reasons. Titties, right? right? <laughs> Titties. Yeah, 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 what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing? Was right? That, was that not an AI generated photo? Was it, it? like the way no, it was, it was the, real? No, it was real. There's, I mean, shout out Selena Gomez. If you want to come on the pod, I mean, I. We, we can, should have we, can, we, so we can see it, right? We should have. <laughs> well, why? Why couldn't what? we see it? We, we can see it. We have a see screen. What? The, the the photo. See pictures of Selena Gomez. I mean, we're, we're who talking, is, uh, talking about it. Who is uh, Dua Lipa? Is she hot? Yes. Yeah. One hundred percent. She's spoken for. Stu Stu's put his um, octogenarian perversions. Into I know her. Dua Lipa exists. <laughs> I don't know what she looks eating. like. <laughs> yeah. yeah let, let's just Google. You've never seen Dua Lipa. I, 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 maybe I have. I You've don't know. seen I, her online doing the little, uh, you know, uh, pussy fucking the mic. Yeah, when when Quiggs uh, gets in his bag, he twists that clip. <laughs> he doesn't know who Quiggs is. I have not seen Dua Lipa pussy fucking the mic. As you <laughs> describe it, I can confidently say I've not seen that. Yeah, she looks like a good singer for sure. Um, I'll date. Fine, I'll date her. Right. I'll date her. Good. Fine. All right. I'll date her. Brandon, you got Reba. This. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I hate Reba. Reba. What? I don't like Reba. I'm not what? Big, I'm not a big Reba. I do like Fancy. I like a couple of her songs. Uh, she she she's been famous too long to still have that deep of an accent. I think she's an actor. I think she acts. I think she puts on her accent. That's what I think. About Reba. Have you looked in a mirror? I don't have Ever? that thick of an accent. <laughs> For a southern, I, I've done this before. For a southern person, I do not have a thick southern accent. Go down south. There's guys that you can barely understand. What? Yeah. Who said that? That you sound like Dave Chappelle when he was doing Little John. As a fellow Southerner, I can back him up. There are more people. You're from goddamn Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Lived in South Carolina. During You're not school. a Southerner. Okay. <laughs> Fried okra, yes or no? No. You asked me why I get worked up on the show. You're you're banging the table, screaming. Fried okra, yes or no? I could do without it. I don't need it. You're all. I'll eat it if it's there, but. Mm. I could do without it. I have a college. You're anti Reba. That's like I'm not anti Reba. I just don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the camera and say Reba, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Reba, you. T- <laughs> I can't even you do can't that. Can't do it. I can't even. You can't do, that. do it exactly. Again, my exactly. mom's coming today. Exactly. Um, college football. I have a topic. Uh, go ahead. By the way, but before you do that, uh, I, I I never finished with the. Uh, I'm not going to finish reading the schedule, but I actually, I, in all seriousness, I did look through the Viking schedule. They have a they have a very favorable schedule. I'm fine with that. Yeah, and they're, jo- jokes aside, they do have a favorable schedule. And I don't think they're a bad team. Yeah, so they're not like they're not like the Bears. Yeah, but go ahead, college football. You see what Penn State's doing to prepare for Northwestern? Uh, they're practicing. <laughs> right, they are. But last week when Dion innovated. Um, this this new approach where you play music to simulate right. the crowd noise to simulate playing at Northwestern James Franklin is playing no music at practice mm-hmm. he's making it as quiet as possible which is that's just that's just practicing you're just practicing that's I guess I, so I guess so but like I don't know when the last time you went to college football practice is I go often um, they play playing the, the playing of music at college football is pretty normal yeah and not even to, to get ready for just playing it, period, is pretty normal. Um, yeah, they're trying to get ready for Northwestern by not by having, not any, having noise. any noise. I, b- what I'm saying is this is completely unnecessary to say. Um, this is There's no other way to read this than James Franklin just talking mad shit. There's no other way to yeah. read this. But you're there's right. Not, when you said it, though, you're, this you're is literally just practicing. This is just football practice from the dawn of time. Yes. This is, this is this every is, practice that's ever happened up until like three years ago. Yes. This, this, there's, there's nothing special about this whatsoever. So the fact that you're saying this, it, it only serves to talk shit. That's the only thing it serves, Connor. That's, he, was, that's, he was asked about it. It wasn't like he just brought it what up. We, oh, what was Mr. the question? What, what, was, what was he asked? The question was, I believe it was from Mark Brennan. Who said? You believe it was uh, a hell of a what guess. Was it? Did you have it? Play, we have play, it. Yeah. The, play the play we're, the whole thing. We're going from the way. I need the context. The atmosphere, James. You touched on the atmosphere that you played in front of last week. It's obviously going to be a different atmosphere this week. How do you make sure that the guys maintain the sort of energy 
that they're going to need at 11 a.m. and in, in what might not be a, a ton of people? Well, I think just being honest, you know, just being very honest about what it's going to be like. Um, these guys are 2-0 and o at home. Um, you look at Northwestern. Um, this is they've typically had. This is boring. Uh, what, 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 it's not disrespectful. Well, this is well to, to his point. I think he's making it boring on purpose because that's what the Northwestern. The oh, that's what James Franklin is trying to set the mood in this press conference by being extremely boring. A quick counterpoint inside the point. Um, college football sports writers are maybe the worst thing in this country. <laughs> They ask questions, and they go to these press conferences, and they treat these things like they, it is absolute war secrecy, like it's the biggest thing that's ever happened in America. And yeah. I just think it's a weird subculture. Yeah, I don't think that's unique to college football. I think in college football, it, it's, it's more tribal than it is anywhere else, though. Mm. Yeah. Like, but that's cause, yeah, I'm not saying it happened in this, in this scenario, but so many times a guy would ask a question like that because the coach told him to ask a question like that. Yeah, yeah. They are absolutely just working in tandem. Well, they have to be because if you want access to the program, you have to yeah. suck the teat a little bit. I like so. to suck a teat every now and then. All right. <laughs> um, Ronald Acuna. 40-70. Stopping the game. Why? And costing what? the Chicago Cubs a spot in the playoffs. Should this man be punished by Major League Baseball? Brandon, your thoughts. I say no. I think the Cubs should be punished by Major League Baseball, and they're going to by not being eligible for the playoffs. The Cubs should be punished for what exactly? Well, for whining about it the day after when all he did was steal a base. That's First of all, it was not the day after. We whined about it in the moment. Go that's a, that's a, historic, a historic base he stole, and the throw, he barely beat the throw, if we're being honest. How, is, uh, how does that throw how is how, how that throw happen? How is, uh, how is this a historic base? Because here's my question. Has anyone ever had a 40-69 season? No. So, every so are we going to do, like, if you really think about it, it's an arbitrary number. Every number we're going to do it, So, yes. are we going to do it every single number when he's still 71? Do we got to stop the game and pull the, the bag out of the dirt? In the 10th inning? When the Cubs are fighting for their playoff lives, we got to pause everything? Evo. For, for a 40-70 thing, which we do, we've talked about. Like, nobody nobody even knows who's done 40. Like, th th this is this is pulled we out know, of We know. We have numbers. We know who's done Nobody it. knows. We know. Nobody knows. This, this is not secrecy. This is 40, oh, everybody, since the beginning of baseball, they wrote who's shit done? down. Who, who's the 40-40 people? Uh, Rabbit Marinville did it in uh, 1911. Go through all, all – because he's the fifth, right? So, who are the four others that have gotten 40-40 season? You're looking at the chat now. No, 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 no. I, 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 I do have to look at it. Jose Canseco did it. Yeah. A Rod Soriano. There's another one. There's another one. Is there another one, or is he the fourth? Let me look. Do you know what you're looking at? Because you weren't paying attention. 40, 40, 40 say say your names again. Here. There's five. There's Soriano, A Rod, Canseco, Acuna, and 1988. That was Canseco. You, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. 1996. 96. Brady Anderson didn't steal a bunch of bases. Did, uh, 96, 96. I like how Brandon does that, too, by the way, where he says he the says, answer, but he puts yeah, a question yeah. mark on it. Yeah. Well, that so, wasn't the so answer. So if he's right, yeah, 96, exactly. 96. So if he's right, he takes credit, but when he's not, he's like, that's not my answer. 96. Then. Somebody was stealing a bunch. 42 homers, 40 stolen bases. Okay. Yeah, but this is something everybody knows because this is a huge, this is a huge milestone. So obviously well, we should pause. Well, this is 40, 70. Obviously this is 40, 70. Obviously we should pause Griffey the game. never stole that many bases, right? And Bonds wasn't – I don't think he hit 42 in 96. He did. Was it Bonds? Yeah. Oh, okay. Greatest baseball player of all time, and you don't even remember he did this. That is absolutely – he is absolutely not the greatest baseball player of all time. He got – he – You're wrong a lot. I don't he, know if you've ever been more he wrong. He created him – he created the greatest player. I don't know player. if you've ever been more when wrong. When he became a robot, he became I the greatest player. I don't know if you've ever been more wrong than, say, Barry Bonds. In 1998, before he did steroids, he was a run-of-the-mill Hall of Famer, a very good player, <laughs> one of the one of the 50 best Literally players of all time. Literally an oxymoron to say run-of-the-mill Hall of One of the 50 best players of all time. About Joe and Namath, then he turned himself bitch. into a robot and made this game a joke. He's not the best player of all time. He's not the best hitter of all time. Ted Williams is a better hitter. Hank Amber is a better hitter. Don't don't get me started on that shit. Willie Mays was a better hitter. Where are we at? Barry Bonds was intentionally walked. He turned himself into uh, a, 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 a caricature, a robot. Okay, yeah, and we, we shouldn't – we shouldn't. We should. We should. We should ding him for that. Let's yeah, let's should, time travel right, back to right, to Hank should. Aaron when he turned thirty five and give him horse steroids you and see what, what he you does. Know what? That would have been awesome. I'm gonna time travel <laughs> back to when I was like fourteen years old watching Barry Bonds just fucking mash home run after home run, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop myself from enjoying that, and I'm gonna say, Mark, you're having a great time watching baseball, but shame on you for enjoying this. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Legalized steroids. What are you talking about? I'm talking about You're a WWE fan. How do you not like like I don't think Hulk Hogan's accomplishments should count. I agree. I don't think John Cena's 
We should strip him of the belts that he won until he pisses in a well, cup. The titles are just about? a prop, see? The titles are just a prop. Rey Mysterio is the only wrestler that... <laughs> Rey Mysterio. Uh, that, uh, ever... I'm pretty sure Rey Mysterio did yeah. some gas at some point. He, he was what? juiced up. He got big one at one point. Yeah. TJ, what's the what's the more absurd take from Brandon? He's anti-Revo? Or that Bond Barry saved baseball? I looked at the chat. I'm sorry. Bond saved baseball from what? McGuire and Sosa saved baseball with their steroids. Bonds just took it to a different level. He didn't save baseball. They were breaking the fuck kind of dumbass shit is that? In the the last one, he was breaking the all-time record. They would break into do programming I, every so time he was up. What is, what is protocol when you want to end a show with Brandon? Do I have to file paperwork <laughs> with someone? Do I just, like, stop showing up for this? They just wait. He'll quit. What's the... <laughs> TJ, what, you've been with the, me. Why? why? <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I have something I need to do for TJ. What does that what? mean? The, yesterday, somebody tweeted at you a photo of the Mike Tyson's Punch-Out yeah. characters. I'd like for you to bring up that photo. Hold on. I did buy a controller yesterday. Okay. Well, you need one. Too. How, how are you going to play this on? Uh, I, uh, I'm. Do you I play it on NES like your computer? Or do you have like PC an, so I can yeah. stream it? And then I bought a USB NES controller so that nobody could say I was using a uh, illegal controller. It's good that you have the NES controller because if you try to do it on like a, a different one, the buttons don't they don't really react the same way. Although I don't know how the USB saves that or helps that. Um, what else? Where is this? As soon as he gets the photo up, I can I can do this because I'm going to give him a scouting report on all the punch out guys because he will be tomorrow night. What time do you know? Uh, whenever I get home, it's so probably like 5 p.m. Central, probably. So starting at 5 p.m. on the mostly sports YouTube, six Eastern. It yep. will be TJ live, and his job is to either get 5,000 subscriptions or beat Mike Tyson's punch out in, in total. You cannot stop until either one of them. And if the subscriptions are going to Now we want y'all to give him an honest effort here. We want subscribers. We want to do that. We don't want you to 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 dick around. Just give him an honest effort and then he's going to give an honest effort to beat Mike Tyson's punch out. Also, we are aware of what our subscribers are at right now. So if anyone's trying to get smart and unsubscribe right now so then they can resubscribe to help TJ on Friday, doesn't count. Are are we aware? We are aware, Brandon. How ma how many we got right now? Uh 15.8 Eight days. Really? That's pretty good. Yeah. We just had okay, good. So yeah. if if like if come Friday evening we're at like fourteen point right. six because yeah. a lot of people unsubbed so yeah. that they could resub. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I see. No, I got it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm smart. I'm, I'm, I'm smart solid. to the game. All right. All right, TJ, here's my scouting report. Are you ready? Yeah. So they go in order, top line, you go left to right, then left to right, then left to right. Although you do fight a couple guys twice. All right. Glass Joe, here's your scouting report. Hit him a lot. Okay. And you're gonna win. Von Kaiser. Uh, watch his little. He, he likes to he, he likes to make a little facial expression before he punches you. So move. Piston Honda. Watch his eyebrows. His eyebrows tell you when he's going to punch. Okay. Uh, Don Flamenco. Uh, he's a gentleman, so he won't punch you first. You hit him, and then you dodge, and then you just left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right till he dies. King Hippo. Opens his mouth, punch him, and then and you got him. You got it. You got everything. I you had to, don't you have to punch his butt, his belly or no? Uh, I, you can punch his, I think you, maybe you do have to punch his belly. I thought you punched his face when he, when he drops his, okay, uh, okay. opens his mouth and he drops his pants and, and then you just punch, right. you punch his belly then. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you hit him in the face, he drops his pants and then you just wail on that belly. Okay. Uh, Von, uh, great tiger. Good luck. I'll let you figure that one out by yourself. Okay. Uh, bald bull. When he charges, you punch him in the belly right before he gets to you. And then the rest of them are too hard. I don't really beat them very often. <laughs> Soda Popinski, I, I can beat every now and then. Mr. Sandman, I have no chance. Macho Man, I have no chance. And Mike Tyson, I have no chance. Does TJ have no chance? He can't do this in one night, no. Even if he looks at all, all of it up, he's not going to understand what he's – like, you've got to well, have a feel for stupid. it. He's not going to have a feel he for call it. You stupid he's not going to have a feel for it. He's just not. So, I don't think it's possible to go from never played the game to beating it in one night. Do think, you take that as a just, personal challenge, TJ? Yes. I think he just called you stupid. Can you beat that game tomorrow night? I don't know. I haven't played it yet. No, no, no. It's a, believe in yourself one time. Can you beat that game tomorrow night? I'm going to beat the game. There you go. Tomorrow night? Well, we'll see how long it What's takes. the best, if you had to enter a video game competition, uh, if, if such a thing existed, yeah. and you were like, I have to showcase how good I am at a video game, what's the one you feel most confident in where you're like, I think... This is the best. I think Saving I the could, Princess and Super Mario Brothers. The the original one? Yeah, I think yeah. I can do it in like four minutes every time. Yeah. I was super. I was a Super Nintendo kid because like, I'm a little younger than you. You're, I don't know, little. But I'm, you know, I, I was, 
I, I was coming of age when uh, Super Mario World was. So that's my game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super Mario World. Uh, I think some of the, the PlayStation 2 era NCAA football games I could also stretch my legs and, and, and show off. Yeah. Not the... the but, but be honest. did you, you never played on like difficult... No, I did. Like a hard difficult. I did. did I, played, I played on Heisman. Yeah, sure. You did? Yeah. I mean, it was my whole life would, back why then. Why would you do that? I would miss a bunch of... Why wouldn't I do it? Because you want to fucking throw for a thousand yards a game. That's why. See, I'm not. I'm, I want to win. I'm a, a serious th- gamer. I wasn't dicking around with basketball practice like you. I'm a. I was a serious college gamer. I would play until the sun hit me in the eyes. That's how big of a loser I was. Other guys were getting pussy and drinking beer. Not me. I was recruiting for Akron. Hell yeah. Goddamn right. Did you see Dumbledore died? Oh fuck! You're not gonna like my next sentence. I rarely do. Hey, <laughs> 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 I. I I've never seen a Harry Potter movie. I just, I, it's not something, and it's not like, so uh, I'm not doing it to say, I I, I just, I'm, to I, say that. It's I not just, like, I just can't, you know, like, I'm not, I've just never seen a Harry, I don't get into that realm of fantasy. I just, I think I've reached my point where I'm just like not going to get mad on this show anymore. I think, I think like today was my breaking point where it's like, I, there's no use getting mad anymore. You just kind of shrug your shoulders and you're like, okay, Brandon. No, why would you get mad that I've never seen... Uh, You're just like venturing into Stephen Che territory for me, where it's like, I can't even get mad anymore. I just have to like... This is just who you are. I think it's I fair to, that I've never seen that. I've just never seen it. It's fair for you to not have seen some movies, but like you're, you're stacking a very impressive resume of like... Have you listened to one Taylor Swift song ever? Drew looks... At me. Because you're, you're venturing I into territory of like... Take a smile so he can walk. You're venturing see. into the territory of... Something is so popular that I'm going to be the cool guy. Who I bet she's beautiful. That girl he talks about. You know? What? I don't know. I do, I do have a take that Harry Potter might be the most selfish protagonist in any movie ever. Continue. I don't, I don't like this take. Continue. Why are you so protective of Harry Potter? Because uh, why are you yelling about something you've never even seen? And good you don't, you good have question. No... Go. He, because Harry Potter knows wherever he is, Voldemort is going to try and find him. Yet he still tries to live this like normal life and go back to okay. Hogwarts every single year, knowing okay I'm putting everybody in danger by me being here. Okay, I'm not saying he has to exile himself, but but, but he has to learn. He has to reach his full potential with his wizardry. And how is he going to do that if not going to school? And if he does, if he changes his life, the terrorists win. So if Harry Potter was to not go to Hogwarts and live his life, uh, then yeah, he, he that's that's the equivalent of the Patriot Act, I would say. That's that's Harry Potter like saying, "Damn, I have to yeah, like we're now actually scared of you." And what he's what he's actually doing is he's saying, "Voldemort, um, I fear I, I I don't even like I don't even really acknowledge your existence. I'm just gonna go live my life and I'm gonna go to school and like oh oh you're here now now you want to fight me? Watch this and then he kills him and and away we go. I think that's more. Right? I like that take. I just got... Because I also think for you to call him selfish, when Harry Potter, by the end of this series, Harry Potter could have banged any woman in the world. He could have, you know, and he, he, he just like settles down. He like gets out of the whole business and just wants to, like he could have been, he could have been the rock star. He could have been the guy. And he just wants to bang his, his best friend's sister and, and just like settle down on a farm somewhere, right? And that would he, or like teach at Hogwarts. Wasn't like his final thing? I mean, he's the guy within the wizard world. He's a loser everywhere else. You Oh. Isn't he? Is he a loser everywhere else? I think so. I mean, it is... I guess that's true, because, like, he's just kind of a dork with glasses in the real world, and he can't... If he can't demonstrate his wizarding abilities yeah. in the real world, um, what's the point? But I, I just think, like, if, if I was Harry Potter, I would have, after... After you win everything and after you establish yourself as, like, the greatest Quidditch player ever... I think you just go on a complete tear of women and drugs and, you know, and, and for him to, I think that is selfless. I think for Harry Potter to say, I am not going to chase vices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to settle down with my best friend's sister and I'm going to teach the next generation. I think that's as selfless as it gets. And that's, that's my opinion on Harry Potter. So you're all right, Brandon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's that's Monday's show. Is it? Huh? It's Thursday. It's- oh, okay. Jesus Sorry. Christ. Thought I was out for a while. All right. Um, 
Do you get it? Do you get it, Mark? Do you get it? I, I don't really. What was Was that uh, actually a joke? I don't know. Yeah. Um anything else? What's on the sheet? Can we see the Oregon Duck losing its head again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get that pulled up? Yeah. Also, do you, I wouldn't mind seeing the Dabo TikTok either. So yeah, I, yeah. Let's just, like yeah. we we need to have like a you need to have a folder, TJ, of just like this the shit that like at any at, at a moment's notice we could just be like, I need to see this video. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that looks like he's <laughs> assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been so sick if Oregon won. Or if Colorado won. <laughs> Look at the. I never noticed the 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 guy on the motorcycle back there. He's just ready to do his thing. Yeah, and he has to watch this. The the duck is. I I just now noticed this for the first time. The duck is wearing the sun the Dion yeah. sunglasses and cowboy hat. I I noticed him smashing. Oh the, yeah, yes. I noticed him smashing yeah. the. Uh, that's a big time. I know Oregon won the football game, but as far as just like that part of it, yeah, that is a massive L for Oregon. Just that part of it, just that snapshot that the ducks coming out trying to like mock Dion mm -hmm. by wearing the glasses and the hat and smash the clock, and then the head falls off and he takes off running. Yeah, that's a that's a tough, that's a tough look. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just I love it so much. What a video! Everybody's fired up, pumped. <laughs> what a video! There's so many people to watch react too. <laughs> And he keeps his he keeps his head and roll it back. The man drops his head and yeah. then he keeps his head down. He's doing like the what's that run called in the comic book? The world? Naruto. Yeah, look at him running with his head. <laughs> he doesn't just run off. He runs off with his chin on his chest and shame. <laughs> also, nobody. This was is the team back there too. I uh I, I fault the uh the prop department for the clock that he they built was a little it's a cardboard it, box. It wasn't as sturdy as yeah. he was anticipating. He was he was anticipating more yeah. pushback on the on the chop there. Well, they didn't rehearse it. They didn't have a they rehearsal clock. They did not rehearse. Yeah. Whatsoever. All right, I need to see the Dabo TikTok and then I think we can do whatever. I throw the uh, Travis Kelsey in the <laughs> floor as well. The run. Ah. <laughs> can we just run back all the videos? <laughs> Play the hits today. Play the hits. Uh, did you see as TJ's pulling these up? What what is the Toy Story game? When is that happening? I Sunday. next weekend, October something. It's in October. Sunday morning. This Sunday morning? Yeah, I think it's Sunday morning. Um, at okay. I'm not saying we're there yet, but do you think there will be a time where we're allowed to say the NFL is doing too much? We're not there yet. I'm not. I'm not saying we're there yet. I'm just. I'm just saying there no, might be a time. Where I get we're, the question. The European game. Will the we Toy be Story? allowed to say it? Is yeah. the question. Well, is there? Will there be a time where, we're, where we can sit here and we can be like, this idea the NFL has, it's doing too much, and people will be like, yes, thank you for saying it. So my thing is this <laughs> about this. So they want to do these things to get kids involved, right? Yeah. More, but Toy Story is a very '90s kid thing. No, do I don't kids think so today, at all. Do kids I don't think so at all. Yeah, I have kids today. They didn't notice Toy Story at all. They did not know. My kids didn't notice Toy Story. The fourth one mm -hmm. just came out, and they're making a fifth one. Yeah. The fourth Toy one came Story out 2019. But you also said 2019, you and, uh, and Lightyear came out, and nobody watched it last year. Well, Lightyear's not Toy Story. Lightyear's Lightyear. But it's, nobody watched it. But that's but who cares? Nobody watched a I, lot of movies. That has nothing to do with Toy Story. I Lightyear's it its own. Right. Lightyear's its own thing. That's not Toy Story. But it's uh, all in the Toy Story universe. Nobody mm. watched. Mm. Or it's actually uh, it's just taken away from the Toy Story universe into its own universe. It's so a Toy Story so character, and you know it is. And it, it's, uh, it's, it's not, it's not, even not a Toy, a Toy Story character. A hundred percent not a Toy Story character. It's not. It's the character that the Toy Story character is based off of, but it's not actually the. We're Toy saying Story that character. Buzz Lightyear is not a Toy Story character. Buzz Lightyear in, in Lightyear, Lightyear is not a Toy, is Story, not a Toy Story character. Go watch, go watch all of the Toy Story movies. Are y'all saying that this movie was not do, supposed to get Toy Story fans to watch it? No, yeah, Toy Story fans did watch it, but it is inherently not Toy Story. It's not Toy Story. He's getting hardline opinions. Have you noticed that? Because you, it's more like you're just spewing insanity, and I think it's firing up the whole room today. I think mm. it's, yeah. I, I, wanna, I really do. I would like to do a show where everyone just chills out. <laughs> Put that in the hat. You want to smoke some weed tomorrow? Yeah, I, I want it in the hat. I just want, like, just chill out, man. Want to smoke just, like, <laughs> just fucking chill, dude. Just chill. <laughs> And anytime you start banging the table and you raise your voice, we're just gonna be like, "Chill, Brandon." Chill, da, 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 da. You I'm raise chill, your voice man. more than I do. Not anymore. I, I, I you chilling now? Because I noticed the other day I was, I was getting fired up, and then I realized it's your fault, and and I studied the tape. Do we have the videos, by the way? I think that's a good way to end the show. Let's. <laughs> well, let's we gotta do, do get, grab the hat. All right. Yeah. What was yesterday? Uh oh. 
Yesterday was uh, Dabo cosplay. Yeah, Dabo cosplay. No, which, we'll, do, we'll do that. Yeah. Which uh, I did. I we need to write these down. I need to see. Uh, I have them. I went out and bought something yesterday. A Dabo cosplay thing. I got a. Uh, I bought some on eBay. I'm really fired up about, but I got to see when it's gonna come. Hang on. Where is that? Hold on. Dickery dickery doc. Mm -hmm. The mouse mm. ran up the clock. Coach Sweeney's got that drip, <laughs> and now. <laughs> He's on TikTok. Can I say something about Dabo's house? He obviously lives in probably a very, very, very nice house. Probably the nicest one in Clemson, South Carolina. It kind of looks like a trailer in there. It it, it looks it doesn't look yeah, as nice it as it should. Let's, let's uh That looks like a fake window. I... The mouse ran up the clock. Co Sweeney's got that drip. No. And now you think I, don't, it's all nice? I don't think I don't nah. think we shame. I, I don't think I'm not shaming. Shame. I'm not shaming. I mean, you said he looks like he lives in a trailer. Well, that's not. I, I grew up in a trailer. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I. Uh, you know why I grew up in a trailer? My dad was on trucks, <laughs> and we didn't have money for houses or cars because he spent it all on drugs. And I'm not talking about just recreational drugs, Titus. Oh God, no. I'm talking about fucking drugs like cocaine. Meth, that motherfucker was up all hours of the night because he was on so many drugs. And that's why we lived in a trailer, because of the drugs that my dad loved. He's now dead, though. You know why he's probably dead? The I think drugs. it a lot, had a lot it's to do drugs. with the drugs. The drugs. Now, he, he lived 70 years. Most of it was drug-addled. And I think now his, even his corpse now is probably still buzzing. So <laughs> he did a lot of drugs. Do we have any other videos? Brandon's dad, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll draw something out of the hat. I got my, oh, wait a second, before I do, uh, I, I, I got some on eBay. Have you have you conceptualized, are, are we all doing this, by the way? We're all doing the... I'm down. I think the, a day the, where we all just watch. show up and we're all wearing Clemson shit is we're, funny. We're not going to announce it. We're just going to show up wearing yeah. Dabo shit. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Dabo, so, sorry. Dabo. I think we all need Dabo. gloves, too. For that video, I, gloves are the first thing I'm buying. Yeah, I have a shirt that's not Clemson, but it's I'm very excited about it. I'm I'm excited for this. Why are you? How are I, you? Because I because I'm gonna cosplay Dabo without Clemson. You'll shirt. see. Okay, I guess you'll I'll see. see. I'm, I'm very very excited about this. Um, all right, let's draw out a hat. See what we're we're doing next. I hope it's silly. You think this is gonna be silly enough? Brandon acts out Fresh Prince of Bel Air Will Smith dad monologue. <laughs> I think I just did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're in the room, and then the dad's like, um, "You know, I got this truck. I'm going across the country. I can't." And then he's like, "I'll see you soon, son." Or it's good seeing you, son. You too, Lou. And then Ben Vereen steps back, and he's like, "All right." And he walks out, and he turns around, and Uncle feels like it's all right, it's all right, son. And hold on, was he? You know, it's not. I'm gonna have to watch it, and I'll do it tomorrow. How about that? I don't, I, don't, I can't do it off the top of my head. I want the whole thing right. No? Is, that, is that what he says? Or is, no, I'm, oh. I'm saying I need to watch it. <laughs> In scene? Have we ended the scene yet, or is this? No, we have. We barely started the scene. All right, you know Will what? says this. You, all of this. All right. <laughs> you know what? It's all, it's all right, Uncle Phil. It's not like I'm five years old and I'm waiting for Daddy to come home. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn car. To hell with him! Y'all didn't like that? That's what he said. He says to hell. Actually, he says it like this. He puts his fist down. To hell with him! He yells out the door. That was really good. Yeah. He puts his, to no, that... hell with him! Okay. Have you not seen it? Have you not seen it? I think I'm deaf now. <laughs> I think everybody watching this is, and listening is now deaf. How come, so how, they, come, how come he don't want me, man? Yeah. Then you're supposed to there hug me. Go. Yeah. I probably yeah. should have just done that part. Yeah. How come How come he don't want me, man? Yeah. You do that. You, you were doing that after, uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> when I was living in the trailer because <laughs> of the drugs. Uh, how come he don't want me, man? All right. I think that's, uh, that's a show. And then Uncle Phil grabs him. This question, but I'm going to ask <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Is it a deal breaker if a girl if a girl doesn't like to give oral sex? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how ball is done.